And good afternoon and welcome to Through the Static. And yes, it's going to take a lot of love. That's why I picked that song. And I'm so excited to be here the day before Valentine's Day. And I have Coach Elix sitting next to me. Hi, Coach Elix. Hello, everyone. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day. To Happy you. Valentine's, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Scrooge. It's it's one of Mark's favorite holidays. Yep. So he's very excited about Valentine's Day. Yeah. He's and single, by the way. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> but he did. Um, oops. He did um, play my request, which was you don't bring me flowers, which I was very excited. But I told him I was waiting for endless love. Yeah. He, that's a fail. Because that was my request. On the second hour. Um, I don't know when he requested it. Maybe I requested it. You did? So why is he playing you on not did me? Did you really request it? Yeah, Endless Love. I don't know. See, he doesn't even know. I promise next <laughs> week it'll be the first song that I play. Felix mm-hmm. is a second-class mm-hmm. mm-hmm. second citizen here. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> so. First of all, during Christmas, he has an issue about my Christmas song. Yeah. And yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, he gave me a hard time. He gave me a very yeah, hard time, yeah, and now he doesn't now. even play <laughs> the the most icon the most iconic love song ever, "Endless Love." And you don't, I mean, um, "Endless I Love," not, yeah. "Endless Love," and you don't did play. Did I it. not play it? Your Christmas song. Yeah. Did I not play it? Yeah, yeah. after yeah, a lot of a lot of tears. Yeah, yeah you were I, cr- I yep, cried. You yeah. I cried. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I just say something quickly? So I listen to Mark's show all the time, uh, the jukebox, which is the best, um, for two hours before my show, and I love the themes that he comes up with. But I have a quick question on Kenny Rogers, Lucille. Like, how can they have four hundred children? It's for hungry children. The, the, the and, <laughs> wait a minute. The line is not. It sounds like if with 400 children, I thought, well, of course Lucille's going to leave. Look what he, he made her have 400 kids. Why wouldn't she leave? <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, so, what is it? What's the line? For it's hungry. For hungry children. All this time, I and thought it was 400, <laughs> yeah. and it's for hungry children. You, you. So, <laughs> so in other words. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You. Ah, uh, get it out, Mark. <laughs> call your names. <laughs> well, so so in other words, you picked a fine time to leave me, Lucille. Right. With four <laughs> hungry children and a crop. In oh come on! Field. I can't be the only one that thought it was four hundred ki- four hundred children. <laughs> and I used to think, no wonder where she left. But now that I know that it's four hungry children, so she was Lucille was just a tramp then, because <laughs> she just left. She just she left him with four <laughs> kids, so she was a tramp, yeah. right? So. And, and apparently. Apparently, uh, our our ex friend Debbie Borelli uh, knew it was for hungry children. That's By the way, Debbie Borelli knows everything. Yeah, that's why she, she doesn't know any everything because she forgets to join the Facebook Live. By the way, ev- anyone who wants to see what we look like and what we um, um, act like. You can join us on Facebook well, you don't need Live to, you every can, Wednesday. You can just listen to the way we act. Yeah, but, but they have a visual. So, you know, they can see that so, we're not just pretty faces. Well, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Tomorrow, I hope everyone has the best day, whether you're with someone, whether you're single. I mean, I know if you're single, it's it's not a um, sometimes not the best day, but um, you know what? You can just turn around and love yourself, right? So that's that's but, a great but, Valentine's but Day. But here's the deal about Valentine's. You and I have been together for 26 years. Almost. And, well, yeah. in April, hello. Yeah. We're getting there. Um, we're getting there. And, I mean, the way I feel about Valentine's Day is that you are my Valentine every day. Like, we Thank don't you. really see anything special about that day. And Mark does have a point. Everything is more expensive on Thursday. So it what's is. the point? No, it right? is. It like, is. what's the point for of that? For restaurants, for flowers, for candy, nothing. I'm dissing it, you know, because people love Valentine's Day, but it is. It definitely is more. I'm not going to lie. It would be nice to get some flowers, maybe some chocolate. So just talk to Mark. He'll help, yeah. He'll help you I'll out. be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Mark will help you out. <laughs> so let me just do some um, quick administrative things before we start taking calls, before I start taking calls. So Sunday is the big the big deal Sunday is Christine Kavicki's fundraiser. This is uh, an amazing woman who's going to be doing the Boston Marathon for the first time. So how cool is that? And the money that she raises is going to the Metro West YMCA, which is amazing also, all these YMCAs in the community. And it is going to be Sunday, 
2 o'clock at the Exhibit A Brewing Company. It's 81 Morton Street, and it's only $40 a ticket. There's still some tickets left, so if you are not doing anything Sunday, you definitely should come out. Um, she's going to have um, some little uh, desserts for Valentine's Day. It's going to be a really a fun. It's going to be fun. It, it is going to be fun. It's still, it's still a very intimate venue, and, and, and you can come in and buy tickets, but you don't want to take a chance that they may be sold out, so buy them ahead. So if you want to buy them ahead, you just go to Venmo at Christine Dash Kavicki. It's C A V I C C H I, and um, it's going to be a great. You know, I love doing fundraisers when this money goes to such a great cause like the YMCA, which is you know, which is terrific. And that's this Sunday. Next weekend, I have the We Don't Die Boston event. Yay! It's With Sandra an awesome Champlain, it's her first event. Um, I think there's when I. Um, Last time I communicated with her, I think there were like 110 people. It's like so, sold out. Yeah, this it's is really going to be sold out event. Um, uh, a three-day event. But what they're going to do is um, they're going to have this amazing guy do a seance. I think you're going to go to. I'm coming. And um, and I am going to do a platform, meaning that I'm going to do a presentation um, Saturday afternoon, late afternoon, for an hour and a half, and I am so excited. That's where... And when I am the happiest, because I mean, of course, I'm, I love I love readings no matter what, whether on the phone, whether it's in front of people. But a platform is really nice because everybody's sitting like in a sort of like an auditorium kind of way, and I get to go through the audience and I get to get up in close and personal. That's why Sunday is a great um, day to come, and uh, next weekend the We Don't Die. Boston, and the last thing I will say is that it's not even on my Facebook yet page, but uh, all my Rhode Island peeps and people living near Rhode Island, March 21st, I'm going to be back at the Crown Plaza in Warwick. I'm so excited. I picked a room that only um, allows 50 people because I wanted this to be very, very intimate so that I could get to as many readings. So 50 is a really great venue, and it's going to be on my website, so you can go to my website to buy tickets but it's going to be what the day after spring and it's going to be um, uh, something very quick that I'm going to do with everybody and it's just going to be um, in coordination with spring and a new beginning and let our past go and just look forward to this year and of course um, reading so I'm really excited about that so again that's going to be March 21st Uh, it's a Thursday night and it's going to be 7 to 9 and you can go to my website I don't think it's on yet I think um, it will be on maybe tonight maybe tomorrow but um, I hope I get to see everybody. And the Crown Plaza is a really nice hotel. Yeah. And, you know, the last time I was there in 2016, ironically, with Sandra Champlain, who's doing the We Don't Die Boston, the two of us kind of, like, piggybacked, and she did her presentation, and then I did readings, and then it was really, it was yeah, great. And that was sold out. Yeah. So mark, mark your calendars, and those of you, and you know who you are, that are our friends from Rhode Island, we are going to keep track whether you show up or not. And if you don't, uh, you're going to be in trouble. Yes, we're going to put a hit out on you. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And you know who you are. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not going to mention any names, but somebody that missed a couple of shows recently, just saying. Yeah, it, it, mm-hmm. exactly. Listen, this is such a great group because it's a small venue to come with. You can come by yourself. You can come with friends. But it's it's uh, the energy is just humongous in that room, and the readings are spectacular, and a lot of laughter, a lot of tears, good tears, happy tears. But everybody gets gets part of this because it's a small venue, so everybody actually experiences what everyone else is experiencing. So which is really cool. And I'm I've been meeting people, keep asking me when am I coming back to Rhode Island, and I. Kept saying, I'm coming, I'm coming. So finally, I did it in uh, March 21st. So just check out my website, and next week I will um, uh, bring that up So to make sure people um, are reminded. So I think we're going to take a break, and when we come back, I will start taking calls, 508-222-1320. David, you're the boss. And welcome back to Through the Static. The cool thing about Facebook Live is that when now we're on break, we can just engage with everybody and have conversations and answer questions, right, which is really, really cool. So and you guys can see how 
darling we look. Yeah, you've said that already. I know, You're just but just keep saying it again. Cause not for nothing. I mean, not that I have an issue with it. Because you shouldn't have an yeah, issue exactly. after 26 years. Yeah, it's, hello. It's, it, it's good. So. Yeah. And Mark did do a little dig with, um, uh, you don't bring me flowers anymore. I think I he was trying to start something earlier. Yeah. yeah I requested a, requested that song. That's the one thing he, he said, was right about. I don't know if that was like a secret message Stephen was probably saying that he doesn't get flowers anymore. But oh, no, Stephen gets flowers. I don't get flowers. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> He gets plenty of everything. That's not true. Oh, that it is, is very true. Okay. All right. I got to get to the, the next caller. So, hello. This is Stephen. Who's this? Hi. This is Terry. Hey, Terry. How are you? Good. Good. I'm glad to talk to you. And um, are you you looking for um um uh, uh maybe a companion? Because I've got Coach Elix here that I'm trying to get rid of. If you're, <laughs> if you're interested, Terry. <laughs> I'm, I'm cute. I can cook. Well, he is cute, and yeah, he cooks amazing. So let me let me let me get to what's going on with uh, Terry. Um, yes. Terry, there's, there's both there's a mom and father figure steps forward here. So is is are your parents crossed? Or are they still here? My mom has crossed. Uh, my stepdad crossed. Okay. My father is still here. Okay, so just know um, it's just mom and stepdad that are stepping forward to let you know that they're here. Uh, your your mom's energy is crazy, Terry. It's it's really funny. Um, um, Terry, the first thing your mom keeps telling me is that there's a there's something that she wants to acknowledge as like a birthday or anniversary. I mean, I know tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and unless yep. she was like a huge Valentine's person, there's something around birthday anniversary that she keeps saying she wants to acknowledge. Yeah, my daughter's birthday was um, yesterday. Oh, so... Uh, two days ago. Two oh, days ago. how nice. So happy birthday to your daughter. What, what's her name? Yeah. Emma. Emma. Usually I don't ask names because I want Spirit to do it, but I want to say happy birthday, Emma. So that's really... Happy birthday, Emma. That's really great. So um, so just know that Mom just wanted to make sure you knew that she was saying happy birthday to Emma. She shows me one. So is it one girl or the oldest? What's the one? Yep. One girl. Oh. I have one girl. Okay. Yep. So it's just Mama just letting you know it's really her and she's she's watching... Um, um, God, she keeps telling me that there's a... There's a, tell my daughter there's a lot there's a lot of people here with her that she, she um, I mean I, I know when we cross obviously there's people that cross before us family wise and whatnot but she she keeps it's it's important this is really interesting Terry it's important for you to know um, and Frank who's Fran Frank Fran or Frank Frank I don't Frank Fran uh, Francis. There's either, think Terry, living or crossed. So it could be someone who's living that they want to validate, or it could be somebody who's crossed. And it could be a, a, um, a middle name also, but as I was, as she's talking to me, she just yelled out, it's an FR, Frank, Fran, Francis, it's something, Frederick, something like that. So keep nope, it, keep, that I can't get. Keep it okay. with you, um, yeah. Terry, you'll get it. But just think of crossed as well as um, here. Um but it's, it's it's interesting how she keeps telling you to tell my daughter she's she's there's so many people with her. Are there two of you? Like, do you have a sibling? I have two sisters. Um, no. That are alive. No, no, it wouldn't be that then. Um, she just your mother also keeps giving me two, but it makes me feel like there's it's two kids. Well, I have two boys. Oh, there it is. So, wow, she's not going to leave the boys out. Right. So, so we already we already talked about your daughter. So you have three altogether. Yep. Yes. Okay. So Mama just wants to make sure that she's going to give that as a as a validation. Um, she's killing me with the Frank Fra Francis Fre Frederick um, uh, name, Terry. So yeah, it, it also it also could be um, like a good friend of one of your kids, a spouse. Or, I, I I just keep it with you. And if they make me bring it up um, a second time, it's just that it's important to them and they want to. They want to make sure you uh, know about it. Where's the, where's the, is it bowling? Does someone bowl? Yeah, well, my stepdad used to own a bowling alley. Oh, my God. Mm. I can hear the balls going down the alley. <laughs> um, that's pretty funny, and it's just your stepdad just letting you know that, you know, you called yep. it right at the beginning, Terry. You're pretty good with your mom and stepdad. So now that your stepdad is like, hey, I'm here, too. So um, it's pretty, it's pretty, um, uh, there's also a uh, huge presence, grandfather presence too, Terry, for you. I mean, there's grandmothers here, but there's a grandfather who just keeps telling me, 
um, he keeps touching his chest, which means it's my symbol for he's always around you. He's he's always with you. It's dad's side. Did you not know him or know him little? Um, I knew him. What we about, weren't super close, but... What about the other one, the, the mom's, uh, mom's side? Yeah, he passed also. Um, the, the, we but the, uh, not to interrupt, Terry, the grandfather makes me feel like there, maybe it was just not very close, but it just didn't feel like there was a, a, a they, they feel, felt like there was a distance. So. Yeah. Well, my parents were divorced, so I didn't see him as much as my dad's dad, as much as my other grandfather. Just know it's not a surprise, Terry, that the one you didn't see as much on your, your paternal side is the one that is saying, listen, I'm with her all the time and protecting her, and he wants to make sure you know that. And where is the G name come in? G. 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 I, I, it's, weird. it's very strange how your stepdad and your mom and grandpa uh, give me signs. It's not the normal way. Uh, and they just keep drawing G, G like G. George, uh, uh, I don't know, like I can't think of any other G names, like Gabrielle, G. There, it's it's not a, well, what was that? My, grand, my grandfather's name was George. Oh. So <laughs> that may be it. Yeah, that would, <laughs> no, Terry, that would be it. Yeah, that's it, George. <laughs> so is that mom's side or who's, who's? No, that was my dad's side. Oh, so he's giving me his name. So, wow. So now that George is letting you know that he's he's around you, always, always with you, someone either needs to stop smoking or stop smoking, but they're yelling. That's so, me. Okay. okay. <laughs> so you're smoking now? Uh, not at this moment, but I do smoke, yeah. They're screaming at you, screaming. Yeah. And when I, when I say that, Terry, it's really all about just how much they love you and they just want you to be healthy and, and stop thinking it's too late. That's what your mother keeps saying. Tell my daughter, stop thinking it's too late. I've done this too long because it's not. It, 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 it's not at all. So just know it's a, it's a nice message that they're giving. And I've never smoked, so I don't know what that's like, but I know um, how – you know how difficult people tell me it is when when how addicting right. addictive it is so um uh, uh and uh there's there's also Terry someone who recently crossed yes so so cuz they step forward and and they give me the sign that they but but recent like within the year yes so so you understand that um yep um they're standing right next to you um, <gasps> okay and, and just keep, um, they keep giving me the the relationship was v- like very close, a very loving relationship. So just just whoever whoever this is, um, uh, you you must have been very close to them. Yeah, my oldest son actually. Oh my god. Yeah, um, like two months ago. Oh my god, Terry, I'm so sorry. Just oh, no thank no. You. Um, where does Paul come in? Paul. Paul, Paula, there's a sign in this in this um, uh, studio, and it says Paul, and they keep making me look at it. Um, so there's a Paul or Paula somewhere, um, but but just know that it's your son. Um, you know, Terry, your son just said to me that. I mean, he did he was it quick or did he did he, was he not expected to pass when he did? Correct. Because he he looked at me and said, Stephen, when I was in spirit, I kept looking around like, where I, where am I? I can't be exactly. dead. I, I'm still I'm still living, and, right. and he did not want to. He just didn't want to leave. But I'll tell you, Terry, what a heart this guy has. Your son, mm-hmm. your boy. Oh my lord, what that what he um, impacted when he was here um, is just pretty amazing. Um, and he, but but he didn't understand. He keeps showing me. Was Paul his friend or Paula? Who's Paul? Paul. 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 Paula. Keep it. Keep I don't it, know of a Paul. He. Or your, Paul, your, but I wrote it down. Your son <laughs> keeps. Um. I love that. Your son keeps. Um. Um. Pointing to the Paul. So Paul. Paula. Uh, something like that. Um. But your son is. Uh, just know that he just keeps saying, "Tell Ma, I'm just such at peace now." So okay. he's just he's and he's always always with you, um, Terry. So I'm gonna leave you with that and thank you for calling and I, I, I you so leave you much. with so much love and make sure you talk to your son because he loves that. Absolutely, all uh, the time. Ah, perfect, Terry. Listen, thank you again. Thank you so much. Alrighty, bye bye. And we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back.
And welcome back to Through the Static. This is Steve in the Medium with Coach Helix, with Mock, the producer, who does the jukebox, and we're ready for the next call. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. This is Steven as well. I, I just wanted to say, I, I heard 400 children, and I had to listen again because I said, that can't be the right one. <laughs> Steven, I, really I love can't. you. See, you thought it too, right? I, I, I think a lot of, that happens to a lot of people in a lot of songs. It's like, I got to listen to the words again. I, you know what? I had no idea, and it's something that I never really paid attention to. Yeah. I never hear that song until... That was my exact thought, though, when I heard it. I was like, I know that's not the right word, so I listened to everyone went around again. So, oh, Four Hungry Children. Okay. Well, you know what, Stephen? For many, many years, I felt very bad for Lucille because I thought, this guy is putting her through hell with 400 kids. I don't think anyone right. has that many kids. Right, exactly. But listen, now that yeah. I know that it was Four Hungry Kids, she's a tramp, and I don't have to deal with yeah. Lucille anymore, Stephen, so, which, is, which is a great thing. So, right. um so, S- Stephen, um, I'm, you know, Stephen, it's it's you, you've got someone, someone st- stepping forward. Um, it's really interesting. Well, there's two people stepping forward. There's one person stepping forward who is way back. Which I got to be honest, Stephen, I love when this happens. It's like a, it's a great, great. It's either a great grandfather or great great grandfather, and he, I can, I can. They give me a specific sign when they step forward back those generations, which doesn't happen a lot. But I don't even, didn't even know them. Yeah, which I love. And most people, when this happens, um, generally there's times that they do when it's usually a younger person, um, but normally we don't. We don't know our great grandparents or so, um, but they clearly know us. And you know this. This great, either great grandfather or great great grandfather, keeps giving me the the B name, like Billy or Bobby, uh, a, a B connection. Is there a B connection, family wise or with you? Do you understand that? Not family, no. It could be first name, last name, or middle name, or it could actually be his name. And you know, really, the only way you'd know that is if you did like ancestry.com or something. But keep, keep, he keeps. Or, or um, Bert, 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 there's a B, B connection. Um, Ethel Bert was my grandfather's name. Oh, there it is. What's the uh, name? Ethel Bert. Ethel Bert? Yeah, because he said Bert, and I said, well, there's no family. But, so it's like going... I, yeah. thought, I thought I heard Bert. So, so know that it's well, just... I thought you were 400 children. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, I may have to have you come on the show. You're yeah. funny. Um, we we have thumbs up, thumbs up to Stephen. But okay, so st- let me let me just tell you that the reason why your either great grandfather or great great grandfather is validating your grandfather is because they're you know in succession they're in line. Yeah. So that was either his son or his grandson. So he's just giving that as a validation. So you you knew the. The Bert, I'm just going to call him Bert. You knew that? Ring a bell, because I was like, there's no Bert in my family, but somehow it just made me there. It just rang a bell. It's like, oh, that's old Bert would fit. Yeah, exactly. So so no, um, he just pulled that, 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 that Bert out so that, that I would know. But the reason, all of the, why, the reason why I'm saying this is because that great-grandfather or great-great-grandfather keeps telling me that you got everything that you have behavioral-wise, talent-wise from him. And um, he he keeps showing me that all he did was read, like read, read, read. And so he's connecting me to to reading or to words. There's something there's something that he keeps saying. I, he's got all these books around him, and he is just so dedicated and and so passionate about I, I, books. I don't know. I, I, he also that, t- that he, would put, that would go to my father was an avid reader. Oh. oh Wow, so he's going right down the line. Yeah, so and and just but no, he's giving me this um, the sign, Stephen, to just to sh- to show that the blueprint that you have. He's just very very proud of you, of of who his, you know, either great grandson is or great great grandson is. All I can tell you is that he's just so proud of you and just he he showed me something that I don't see a lot, but he shows me him standing next to you, just staring at you, and that's like the biggest form of admiration in spirit. And to just know that you've got you've got this this fan of yours who is so proud of who you are and and, and, and what you've done in your life and what you're doing in your life. But he just wants to make sure you know that he's giving um, his blueprint to you. But he said that that you, you've, I love this because he said you've done way more than what he's done with his. So he's, 
he's just giving you this huge compliment, so um, which I love. But there's also a, there's also um, a female stepping forward. It feels like a grandma grandmother, um, and I'm trying to figure out. So let me start here, Stephen. Is there an H like Harry or Hilda connected to you? Like an I'm having trouble with that one. Um, the reason why she she keeps giving me the H, and but she's giving me the sign for the name, but she's also giving me a sign for the hospital because that's also my sign for a hospital. So is, did, did somebody work in healthcare connected to you, like either here or across? Wow, my my aunt did. But on your aunt is crossed. She's crossed. Well, she was a nurse. I don't know if she was in a hospital. I don't I think she was. Uh, no, no, no. Well, what, what, when they give me a hospital, it's, it's you know, as much as I like to to say that I'm talking to them on the phone and saying, "Would you say?" Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. It would be very nice for me, Stephen. Um, but I, I, they, I just have to get clips and stuff of what they want me to say. So when I see the H and I asked about the healthcare, it's just it's just a way to give a validation to your aunt that she was a nurse. It's just what they're doing is just giving validations of the. Um, the family, and um, uh, there's something also coming up with you. I don't know, within the, within the year, there's something coming with you, like, a, um, a, I don't know, like, like an announcement or a, a, a big vacation, or well, what is this? this they, 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 put me, they put you on a, a, like a, um, a podium, which means it's my sign for something, a graduation. So I, don't, I don't know what this is. Do you? Mm, not. They just, uh, your great grand, great great grandfather just yelled out, sure he does. Sure he does. So this, there's something coming up this year that's, that's sort of big. So somebody that gets acknowledged or maybe someone's retiring. I don't know what this is, but your great great grandfather keeps saying, yes, it's this year. And it, and it, but it's connected to you, Stephen. Something this year that, I mean, I, I haven't planned any, I mean, I've already, my annual class reunion but that's not no 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 it, it would uh, unless the class reunion is a biggie like uh no it's it's nothing that's not nothing out of the ordinary that i'm planning on going anywhere or doing anything different all that. i can tell you is they show me something like like someone's 50th anniversary or some it's something something like that it's something that's kind of like you know it, it stands out for this year so i i'm just keep it with you, Stephen. It, it also could be like a a, a, a family member or somebody. Um, uh, uh, is, there, is there? You have a brother? Yeah. Um, just just keep it with you, thinking about him. Maybe something's going on with him. I don't know. I don't talk to him very often, so I, I really haven't heard anything. Like yeah, and not surprising, Stephen, that's the reason why they bring it up is because, you know, our loved ones are always trying to get us to be in better relationships and loving relationships and not saying yours is not, but just the fact of not talking to them a lot, that's what our loved ones want. And like, yeah, let's, 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 let's bring up the one that they don't talk a lot, so let's move them closer. Yeah. It's, just the, it's just the way, you know, spirit does it. And there's a cat here, too. There's a cat. Where's the, who, who grew up with the cat? Where's the cat? My mother has a cat in her house. Okay, so but this is a cat in spirit. So and there's a, there's an S connected to it, like Snowy Sibby's uh, S connection. It, it could be that is is one of the cats white. One there were two cats in my when I was a child. One of them got killed in an accident. Was was one of them white? Yeah, one of them was white, but that one survived. Yeah, well, but that one's dead now, right? Crossed over. Well, probably now because they probably both are because that was. Over, that would have been 50 years ago. That's the only, <laughs> you said one of them was white. It was a neighbor's cat. <laughs> Stephen, you make it, yeah. I, I think, yeah, I think unless he's friends with Walt Disney and he's frozen, <laughs> he's dead. Yeah. He's crossed over, so, yeah. So just, you know, I know it you sounds weird. Cat, you had two cats, you said, in that picture? What was that? No, one, one cat was coming through, but the uh -huh. cat kept telling me it was white. So uh -huh. just. So what, what are they trying to tell me? I mean. That they're just letting you know that they're here. Oh, cool. It's, it's it's a loving, all of this is all just saying, uh, Stephen, we're here. You connected, even even if it was a neighbor's cat, you knew of the cat, or if it was a cat that lived with you. It's just letting you know that we're still here. We have gone nowhere. Right. So it's, yep. it's a wonderful thing. So I'm going to leave you with that, Stephen. And listen, thank you so much for calling. Oh, thank you. All right, listen, have a great night. You too. Bye-bye. Hello, this is Stephen. 
Hello, this is Stephen. Who's this? It's Susan. Hello, Susan. Hello, Stephen. Um, okay, let me tune in, Susan. Um, um, Susan, uh, where does Anne come in? Anne. Yeah, it, it, it makes me. When I just heard your name, Susan, they they like like they they put it in the middle of a name, like Susan Ann or Marie Ann. There's an there's an Ann connected, either living or crossed somewhere somehow. Ann, Ann. I mean, I don't think it's Anthony. Because it's an A N, and it sounds like it's Ann. I mean, it could be something like a, a, a variation, like Anita. But there's an A N connected. Not nothing you can think of connected to you. I have a friend named Marion, or had a friend, Marion. Is she crossed? She has. So I would probably suspect it's probably her. Well, oh, it is her because Anne is the second name, Marianne. So just just know whether Susan. Um, it is. It's definitely her because she just said you would never have thought she'd be the first to come through. No, here she's right. Yeah, she just said, Stephen. I just blew her mind. Like I'm here, I'm here. Um, she, she just took advantage because everyone else in, in spirit that uh, are fighting, your loved ones are fighting to see who's first. And Marianne just thought, well, I'll slip right in because they're fighting. Uh. They don't even know Stephen's ready. So just know that, you know, Marianne, I don't know what the relationship was, like whether you were close, whether you weren't. It doesn't really matter. All I can tell you is that Marianne just keeps giving you, she keeps clapping at you, which is like giving like a, 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 a like also like a, a compliment, like admiration to who you are. It's nice. I it's, can understand that. It's, yeah. a, it's a nice compliment, like almost like a like almost like a thank you, um, Susan. So I, I don't know, just sort of like a thank you for being. No, she just said thank you for doing what you do. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does. Oh, as long as you know, that's good. That's that's very good. Yeah, so. we worked together. And we were very close. Oh wow, wow, Susan. So know that. Um, uh, and she's saying to say hi to everybody. Whether you still work there or not, doesn't matter. She's just, even in your mind, if you do it, that's what she, you know, that's what she wants. So, um, Susan, uh, I don't know if this is still her or somebody else coming through, but they keep talking about the coat. The coat. Did you just buy a the coat, coat. Or, or was there a coat? No, I don't wear a coat. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Do you, do you live in Tahiti? What do you mean you don't wear a coat? No, I just I just don't normally get cold, so I don't wear a coat. Do you live, like, in the, the northern climate, like New England? I live in Warwick. <laughs> Oh my, well, well, first of all, um, Susan, you better be at my event um, March 21st so I can see you. But secondly, oh secondly, um, at the Crown Plaza in Warwick, but this is not about oh, me right, right now. It's about you. Um, Susan, it's, I mean, you may say, that's so random. Like, why would they bring up a coat? Because I don't wear a coat, and that's the, exactly the reason why they bring up the coat. There's an auntie I keep hearing. Auntie keeps telling me. Auntie, uh, t t my niece, my niece. So uh, did you lose, did your mom or dad lose, but there's a mom figure here too, Susan. Yes. So your mom is crossed. Yes. So know that she is just giving you big hugs. She keeps, she keeps talking about the, the beer. The beer? The beer, yeah. Like drinking beer? Well, you know what, Susan, that's a very good question. Ask your mother to, to pronounce, enunciate a little better for me. I don't know if it's a beer, stuffed animal. Well, she is from Rhode Island. Oh, uh, hey, me too. So that's probably why she's giving me, maybe she's making fun of me, making you my accent. You shouldn't have any, any I know, I shouldn't have issues. any issues with your mom. Um, beer, I don't know if it's the drinking beer or... Or the, the teddy bear. But your mother keeps saying she knows bear. And she keeps talking about the jewelry. The jewelry. Like earrings. This jewelry that she keeps talking about. You have her jewelry? Um, she really wasn't a jewelry wearer, but I do have her mother's ring. Oh, there it is. So, so just know it's a way that they're giving a validation. Like your grandmother's giving that as a, a, a validation. And where's Mar Mary? Marianne. Oh, Mary is my great grandmother. I was going to say no, Susan. We already did Marianne. So Mary, Mary is who? My great grandmother on my father's side. I love that. So know that she's also stepping forward too, um, Susan. So, um, uh, um, just I'm just going to tell you something very quickly that they, your mom, keeps telling me to tell you, you're never alone. 
You're never alone. That's all I keep hearing. And that doesn't mean that you don't have, like I'm sure, wonderful family, wonderful people around you. It just means that those times that you feel like you're missing your mom, because your, your mom just said to me, she, she misses me every day, and just know that I'm with her every single day. I'm with her. I, I leave with her. I come back with her. Your mom is with you all the time. And check the something with the tires on the car. Okay. So j- just make sure um, uh, that you ch- is, is, did you just did something happen with the tire? Is your ear with tire or something? Um, my ear, my ear light just came on on my tire. Oh, there it is. Just know it's a way that she's she's watching. So, um, Susan, I'm up against a break. So, thank you so much for calling and lots of love from me and your mama. Thank you so much, Stephen. All right, bye bye, Susan. All right. And welcome back to Through the Static. This is Stephen the Medium, and I'm going to take the next call. Hello, who's this? Hi, it's Heather. Hi, Heather. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing well, too. I love your voice, Heather. I like sexy Thank Heather. You. Heather, are you from Facebook Live? I am. Oh, my gosh. So you got through. See what happens? See? Yeah. It's, it's, it's good, Heather. Um, uh... You know, when I when I pause when I'm doing this, Heather, it's just it's because there's too many of your loved ones stepping forward, and I'm trying to figure out or ask them, please, one at a time, to see where we're going. So um, this is not where I was starting, but I am going to start now with this guy. There's um there's a young guy, Heather, here stepping forward for you in spirit, and when they step forward and, and label themselves as a young male it just means it's someone who left this earth way before their time so i don't know sometimes it could be like a dad who died young or it could be you know a brother a friend um who died is is there a male that you can think of that um that crossed young younger yes my dad okay so what is your dad um how old was he or approximately he was 31. Oh, my God. So that's him. Wow. Because, you know, sometimes people don't understand what I'm trying. And sometimes I'm not the best communicator. And someone may say, well, he died like at 80. And I'm like, well, no, that's not young or 70, even though that's young. But just know that dad is, is stepping forward. Um, your father, um, now that I know it's your dad, and what they do, Heather, is that they give me things that, like a characteristic so that they know you're going you're gonna to come right out and say that was my dad. And it is dad. Um, your, your father... Um, keeps telling me you you your your whole essence is a spitting image of him. Everything about Heather you got from him. Y- your mom may say no, or you may say no, but I'm telling you that that you've got so much from him. And at um, he just he all I keep hearing your dad saying is he's sorry. He's, he just keeps saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. First, to start off with that he was taken at such an early age, at 31. Um, but uh, he, your father's your father's funny in the sense that he said she's, she has the good and the bad um, when, when she has everything from me. So, well, like we all do. Um, but your father, since he crossed Heather, has not missed a, a, a day not with you in... in um, any milestones? Your father um, keeps also telling me that you you are very very you're very multi talented in the sense of just there's a lot there's a lot it's there's a lot with you that can go different ways and 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 what I mean by that is that um, there's some people that are very good in certain situations or professions. You kind of have um, your foot in everything and can actually move into I don't know if you've had a lot of different jobs or you have hobbies that you do. Does that make sense? It does. I've had a lot of different jobs. So so know that your father keeps saying that that some people may say, well, you, you know, and this was back generations, like you should just stay with one job. But um, your father said that he's so proud of, of uh, what you've done and it's all those jobs is really the essence of who Heather is. So I'm, you just, you need that to, it's sort of, your father just said, my daughter needs stimulation. She needs, she just needs, she gets bored very quickly. So it's just, it's a way, really Heather, it's just, it's all of this is just to say, I'm, I've been with you 
since I crossed, and I'm still with you. And my God, he's he's really excited. Um, he keeps talking about um, Heather. Did he have like a substance abuse issue? Um, I don't think so. So if it's not him, um, your father just looked at me with this, the, the evil eye, like, are you trying to label me like that? Um, <laughs> I, I love your father's um, sense of humor. Where does, does someone work with, like, with substance abuse people or kids, or is there somebody, your father keeps, he keeps giving me my sign of, I just can't tell if it's like, like if it's drinking a lot or if it's something else, but there's a substance abuse issue. This also could be even like maybe a friend of yours that maybe had an issue and is you know in rehab or um, this is not something that you can connect with. Uh, yeah, I've had a, a quite a few um, quite a few family members that have had substance abuse issues. Okay, so it's just a way that Dad is just letting you know that that this is really him and it's his his family. Did he um uh did did. He or you did? Did someone win trophies? Like for for something like a, a sports? I, I'm a, I'm asking Heather because there's like a little, little trophy in the station on the table, and your father keeps making me look at it. I don't know if this guy is bowling. I don't know what he's doing in this little like the little um, trophy. But your father keeps t- saying talk about it. In 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 next month is big. What's March? March is is there someone's birthday anniversary anniversary of death? Why does he keep talking about March? Uh, it could be it could be an odd anniversary. And uh, oh, I like the, I like where this is going. Uh, I, I'm I'm curious. What do you mean an odd? Um, a year ago, uh, my husband and I split up. Oh, and is, was it in March? Yes. Okay, so that's what he's talking about. You know, it's it's just, it's all for you, Heather. It's all to say, listen, I'm with you, and I know exactly, you know, what's going on. Um, your father talks about loyalty, um, mm-hmm. and, and um, he just says, you, you understand. You'll, you'll, she'll understand. So I don't know, because he showed, he showed me the dog and, and a sign of a, a dog that's very loyal, but he said just just reference loyalty. So I don't know exactly what he's uh, he's talking about. And, and, and B, B, Bobby, Billy, where's Brenda, where's B connected for you? But br- br- I'm not sure. I have a, uh, my last name starts with B. I have a lot of B so, family members. So it could be just the, the last name that he's giving as a, um, a, a reference. And... Um, did you waitress? Did you were you a wait staff? Uh, not really. I did work in the service industry, but not particularly waitressing. He, he, I'm asking because your father keeps showing me soda, and and and, and I can hear the soda being, you know, with a cup being uh, either served or taken out, or there's something something with with soda or that he is bringing up. Maybe someone. Is addicted to diet soda, soda. I don't know what this is, but your father just keeps saying, "You know, you know." Um, uh, and, and Heather, did did was there a relationship that was broken? With he's your father keeps bringing up like someone wasn't talking or someone someone had. Yes. Was, does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So it's again, it's a way um, that he just wants to, to to let you know he knows everything that's going on, and he just keeps giving you a big hug and um, and and he he also just said he supports he supports you in 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 everything that we just talked about. So if that means you know if there was a, a, a um, you know a separation with people and you were part of it, he just keeps saying that 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 he, he just keeps saying. You know, don't take, don't take blame. It's 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 not about that. Every, everything everything is going to be everything is fine. So I, I'm just going to make sure I leave that with you, Heather. Okay. Okay. All right. And listen, uh, lots of love, and it was good talking to you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. I think we uh, don't have much time, right? Um, one minute. So I'm sorry if I didn't get to you. We have only one minute left. 
Do um, we have an event Sunday? So you yes. Can so if you're local, yeah. please, please, please look at my website, the event that is for Christine Kavicki. It's the fundraiser for the YMCA. The following weekend is the We Don't Die Boston in Quincy. And um, March 21st, which is not on my website yet, but it will be, is the event that I'm doing at the Crown Plaza. It's just me. It's a really small venue. This is one you don't want to miss because it's only 50 people and it's going to be really uh, terrific. So, and it's going to be just, um, uh, I don't want to give too many secrets away, but it's just going to also be a very, very brief um, segment also just on being spring and moving forward and um, just a couple of things that we can do um, just to be in a better place. So, um, this is Stephen the Medium. I have Coach Elix. Um, your website, Coach Elix? Uh, performance Coaching by Elix.com. And I am Stephen the Medium.com, and that's how you can find me. And we will be back next Wednesday. Thank you to our wonderful producer, Mock, who always does a fantastic job, and the Facebook Live people. Thank you for listening. I can't wait to see you guys next week. And happy Valentine's Day to happy everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.